Hello, I'm John with Roadkill Incorporated. This video has three parts. First, I'll tell you how to wipe your iPad in DFU mode. Then I'll talk about iPad locks and how to tell if yours has one. And finally, I'll discuss ways to make use of a locked iPad. So first, wiping iPads in DFU mode. Let's say you get a bunch of iPads from recyclers or wherever, and as it generally happens, the original owners don't bother to wipe them, so all you see is a login prompt, or when you go to wipe the device in settings, it prompts you to log in before it will even let you. Uh, maybe you'll get lucky and be able to wipe it manually, but unfortunately that's not the norm. When these problems occur, you need to wipe the iPad in DFU mode. What DFU mode does is present the iPad to iTunes on a Mac in such a way that it can be wiped from the computer without having to deal with the iPad's operating system directly. Sort of a remote wipe. So here's the procedure to get into DFU mode. First off, the instructions can vary depending on your iPad, so you might need to Google your particular model. But for older iPads, connect to a MacBook with iTunes running and hold down the Home button and the Lock button at the same time. Within about 5 seconds, the screen will go dark. Keep holding both buttons, and 4 to 5 seconds later, release the lock button with the home button still held down. Keep holding the home button until you see this prompt on your screen. If the iPad wakes up, you're not in DFU mode and need to try again. But once you do get this prompt, step through to do a wipe and upgrade. It takes a little bit of practice to get the DFU procedure down, so don't feel bad if it takes a few tries. Once iTunes is wiping the iPad, it takes about 10 minutes to finish, after which you've got a fresh install of the OS. Alright, so you're done and life is good, right? Well, not so fast, really. Uh, the problem is, although you've wiped the iPad, it can still be activation locked or managed. Activation lock is an Apple security system that ties a device to a user's ID, and I've found that most companies out there don't bother detaching their devices from their accounts before discarding iPads, so a huge number end up activation locked, which means they're bricks and basically worthless. The other lock, the management lock, also called DEP, which stands for Device Enrollment Program, or MDM, which stands for Mobile Device Management, um, is similar but different. Uh, corporations tie the serial number of a device to their management system so they can control it while it's in the field. They usually neglect to remove iPads from their system before discarding them, which turns them into bricks. So uh, a management lock is not technically a lock, but it acts like one because you've, you're effectively not allowed to proceed just like an activation lock. So here's how to tell if your iPad has either lock. When the iPad connects to Wi-Fi, the operating system reaches out to Apple and asks if the serial number is clean. If it's an activation lock serial number or a managed serial, Apple basically stops you and won't let you proceed at that point. To see if yours is locked, step through the setup wizard and connect to your Wi-Fi. If the serial is not activation locked, it lets you get to the location services screen, which is right after the Wi-Fi screen. But if you get this, congratulations, your iPad is officially a brick. Management locks are similar but may not become apparent until the next screen, so you'll want to step past location services, and if it's managed, this is what you'll see. And this message also lets you know your machine is a brick. These are old iPads, and newer ones uh, may behave differently. If, if in doubt, step through the entire setup process to see if you get stopped at any point. And also make sure you have a strong wireless signal as well, um, and make sure it actually does connect, because if it fails to connect and lets you buy, you might run into the lock later on, which is not a good thing, especially if you've already given the uh, iPad to a customer. So that's how to wipe an iPad and verify if it's locked. But what if it is locked? Is there anything you can do about that? Is there any way you can make use of it? The answer is yes and no. Uh, first, I'll cover jailbreaking uh, or bypassing, as it's sometimes called. Um, it's called bypassing because what it does is bypass the setup wizard and let you use the device normally. It avoids doing the handshake with Apple that would allow Apple to stop the device from functioning. Jailbreaks and bypasses, they only take a few minutes and they're very simple to do. The problem is, if the user were to eventually reset the iPad or upgrade the OS, it's likely that the bypass uh, would be undone and the user would get locked once again. So it's not realistic to sell bypass devices. It's uh, very difficult to explain to customers exactly how these iPads are different. And realistically, they're just going to forget what you tell them and end up locked eventually again. So bypassing is good for personal use or people you know, but it's just not practical to sell uh, jailbroken devices, unfortunately. The other option, which I have to admit I'm not entirely familiar with, is to change the serial number. There are devices and programs out there that will allow you to do this. In theory, this is the best way to go because you're not doing a bypass, you're not doing a hack. Uh, you're literally changing the identity of a device such that when it goes through the setup wizard, Apple lets it buy because the new serial is actually a clean serial number. 
Uh, one difficulty, however, is that you need a good replacement serial number. Uh, you don't want to duplicate the serial number, that could cause trouble, uh, and you don't want a fake one that might not register correctly with Apple, so serials need to come from scrap devices. Um, they can even be purchased on websites like this one, although it's difficult to know how legitimate uh, these purchased serial numbers are. I'll put some resources in the notes that will get you on your way to bypassing and possibly changing the serial numbers of iPads. On a side note, my favorite iPad is the original iPad, the iPad 1. The reason for that is that it's so old that it's not even capable of taking a version of the operating system that can be locked. So ironically, if you find a pile of iPad 1s, you know those are refurbishable and you may end up in a better position than if you had found iPad 2s or 3s, half of which tend to be locked. So there you have it. Wipe your iPad, see if it's locked, and possibly make use of a locked iPad. Unfortunately, millions of iPads are still going to get scrapped because recyclers either don't know about or don't have time for these elaborate procedures. Until Apple is forced to give us a way to deal with these locks, it's still going to be a problem and it's still going to get worse. I wish there was a way to put an alternate OS such as Android on old iPads, but from my research so far, that's pretty difficult due to... Apple's proprietary nature, and Apple's only becoming more and more proprietary, so the future doesn't look too good in this respect. Anyway, I hope this helps, and thank you for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe.